friend never better Dutch you're breaking his heart you know that did he tell you to say this to me friend no <laughs> but I know Dutch and that fool at his ear they're gonna kill every last one of us I see that now You can sit, but we ain't in much of a good mood. Hi, Uncle. How are you, Cope? Well, I'm doing peachy for an old man. We'll be all right. You betcha. <laughs> What, Micah? Mr. Morgan? I see what you're up to. And what's that, Morgan? Molly, I don't believe it. I should have cut her loose months ago. Well, let's get settled into our new home, I guess. Hi, Reverend. Hello, Mr. Morgan. You're looking well. I feel better than I have in a long time. Keep it up. All right, Mr. Morgan. Tilly. Arthur. You doing all right? What is going on with you all? You're acting like children. You're trying to work it out. Don't know what to do with myself around here. Can I talk to you a second? Sure. I'm just so worried about Karen, Arthur. Why? You know why. She's gonna kill herself when she hits the liquor. Sure, but... But I guess that's her choice. <sighs> I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try too. But... We both know it won't work. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see.
Hello. Mac. Morgan. You happy now? Happy about what? Look around you. Just go rest up, Morgan. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Arthur, why are you letting Mike get in your ear? There's no need to be jealous, Arthur. I'm just trying to work out what's going on here. Run along now. See, I, I know you got a plan. Hey, big man. I'm worried. I'm really worried. Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. Uh, I guess... Folks is gonna make a choice. Whether they live... Or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just... Trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. A good man. Well, try to keep your head straight. Uh-huh. How you doing, boy? Here you go, boy. Let's get you looking nice. better. I still die. Good boy. Come on, Bertram. Please. No. Bertram, say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose right into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Wouldn't Bertram like a sherry? Bertram like sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. Barkeep, sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Come taking on. them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well, uh... Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little uh, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed uh, his mom on the back. Uh, oh, fuck it, he... Uh, no, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Uh, woof, woof, Bertram! Put the nice man down! Do something, he'll eat him! Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sherry! 
Easy, big guy. Mean man! Easy, boy! What are you waiting for? Bad, Bertram! <laughs> Bertram ain't little man! Well, you're a naughty boy. He's strong, all right! So strong and so stupid. <laughs> Not nice! At least try. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, got to tell me where that little worm ran off. To, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. I'm fine. Don't you tell me I feel I'm not. like a walking whiskey bath. Let's go, boy. It's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! hey, are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, Marjorie. She cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. <sighs> ah! Stay away from me. Hey, Barner, come back here. Oof. Look, you got the wrong end of this. Where are you running off? Hey, will you talk? Damn. You're starting to irritate me. What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. Oh, yeah, very clever. Oh, that's a neat trick. It's steak dinners and dancing girls. We're gone. Now where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. 
Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. Wanna see a trick? <laughs> well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on there. Ah, so damn it. long, dummy. Where are you? You really? Little Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha. Shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you great. are going to be pulling oh. rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Met him at the bar, agreed to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, Be I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you, too? <laughs> <laughs>